Hey guys, so happy new year. Dale here with, uh, with the insurance. I hope everything's going well. We felt that uh, now that open enrollment period has kind of recently ended, uh, we wanted to give people a few nuggets um, about getting insurance while outside of OEP because you do still have options. Uh, and there's actually one really, really good option that some of our partners are, are offering that we wanted to, to let you know about. Um, you probably already know that even if it's outside of OEP, um, if you have kind of a, a qualified life event, a QLE occur, you still can qualify to purchase insurance. Those QLEs are things like kind of getting laid off from your job, getting divorced, something large happening within your life um, that may cause you to, to lapse in insurance. That's okay, you can go ahead and still purchase it. There is another option that a lot of people don't know about, and that's purchasing short-term insurance. Um, a lot of people would say, okay, so I'll get short-term insurance, but I'll still have to pay a penalty. This is the caveat. You still, even with paying the penalty and purchasing short-term insurance, it's typically far less than, uh, than paying for long-term health insurance. So actually getting insurance on the OEP or outside of it. So that short-term um, health policy, along with paying your OEP penalty, is a viable option for a lot of people. Um, another note for the, the, the short-term insurance is that you can go to anyone. There's no in-network, outside of network. No matter where you wanna go, you can go ahead and do it. Um, so make sure you go on our site, look at our options, and because it's outside of OEP, I really, really urge you to check out this short-term um, health insurance option. We'll probably continue to um, provide you with little tidbits regarding insurance throughout the upcoming weeks. So tune in and I hope, uh, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.